Hi, Alan Socal, and I'm reviewing a 1296p uh, high-definition body-worn camera. Um, the uh, listings here uh, by the vendor are a lot of words, a lot of keywords. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, for me, having reviewed probably five or six body cameras uh, with Amazon over the last year, um, I've sort of developed an opinion just handling them, uh, which ones are easy to handle, which ones make sense. Uh, some are very, very hard to work with. Uh, I will say in summary right up front, I want to give this uh, five stars uh, partly because I think it's an easy to use body cam. Um, but uh, the other part of it, uh, ironically, uh, especially I say ironically because it involves warranty. Uh, normally I have great difficulty searching out warranty information for a number of reasons during my reviews. Uh, but in this case, the vendor on their vendor page came right out as feature number one, after sales and warranty. And I'm reading uh, from my copy of the vendor page. Uh, we provide three years warranty for all video cameras. Please contact us through the Amazon order page. If there's any question, we'll get back to you within 12 hours. Um, three years of warranty um, to me is uh, th that's essentially getting extended warranty coverage on a lot of devices. And, um, <clears throat> the uh, other uh, note that I wanted to make, and it relates to my videos, uh, for me this was a very easy camera to use. Um, I unfortunately, and I did backtrace my packaging materials to see if I missed something, uh, you do get the body camera, okay? You also get the uh, elongated uh, clip and uh, these are the ones I most usually would use and um, the ones I'm most familiar with, the shorter uh, clips um, sometimes, uh, and of course this depends if you're wearing a service vest. If you're not wearing a service vest, you have to have something to hold this thing steady. Um, if I were to clip it onto my shirt, uh, it would not only be pointing down because there's no support, but as I move, it would be just moving all over the place. So uh, I only use the long clip. The reason I'm making a point of telling you this is because I was supposed to get in the box the short uh, epaulette uh, clip. I never got it. I don't think I'm going to nick them for it. Uh, if I were to contact the vendor, I'm sure they would send it uh, just to take care of things. I used the camera and I did a video. You might as well look at that. Um, I just uh, did a little local video. Uh, there was no social interaction. Although I will tell you, and maybe this uh, will influence you one way or another, uh, I'm probably going to keep this one uh, and keep it with me when I travel. Okay, this is Alan. So, Cal, and I'm doing a very short uh, video recording using the body cam, I simply want to show you a feature that uh, is uh, what I think uh, pretty decent. It's the automatic switching from um, color, uh, high def color recording, uh, such that when you leave a well lit area, you will automatically go into um, infrared mode. And there we just did. I um, walked uh, out into a hallway area and uh, I'm going to continue to walk uh, toward another room. Uh, let's go into a dark room. This happens to be um, this happens to be a bathroom and you can see that the body cam has automatically uh, gone to infrared which is excellent. I like that. Uh, we're walking now into a room. I noticed it went from color. Now it's back into infrared. Uh, okay, well, I just wanted to show you this feature. We're going to go outside and uh, record outside in sunset lighting. 
the button on the top right as I'm wearing the cam that uh, turns on the video recording function. And uh, what I uh, really wanted to demonstrate, uh, although it's something only I am benefiting from, is that the, um, the camera is easy to turn on. The bottom left is the on-off switch. The top right starts the video. And that is probably the most important function uh, if you're trying to record, uh, uh, you know, a real-time uh, recording of uh, what's going on, where you are, and such. Um, just walking around the side of the property and um, curious to see how light adjustment uh, occurs. And I'm curious to see when we get this back into the uh, office and download uh, how the... Um, how the exposure went uh, and of course um, this has pretty good depth of field given it's a body cam so I'm not expecting uh, things to be terribly out of focus it's uh, not a fisheye but it's certainly a wide angle lens notice I went from color let me go back here the camera is getting sufficient light well it was uh, we're coming into sunset so I look at the uh, the side of the property here. Um, of course, there's uh, enough sky to illuminate. As I go to the left, I'm in a dark area in the side yard, and now it's going to infrared. Now it goes back to color, and it'll do this whenever it senses there's not sufficient light to record in um, in color. And that's a feature I really, really like. I commented on it earlier. So um, this uh, this is uh, basically how the camera works. I don't have any interaction uh, with other people. I use this uh, for myself. This. I really liked it. The uh, thing I don't like about any of the body cams I get, and I'm going to show you how I resolve it. I do not like the black on black buttons that are on body cams. So if you're looking at this body cam, you're thinking, well, the, I see the buttons. They're not black on black. Well, no, they aren't. The reason they're not is because I have a method for taking acrylic painter's paint and a small, very fine brush and painting over the, um, the debossed icons that are on every button. So I just basically fill in the depressions. Uh, it's an overfill. And then I have to come back, and this is a water-based acrylic, so then I wipe off the excess. And now I have uh, white on black for my icons. This one didn't fill as well. It doesn't matter because I know that's uh, the down and up function. Um, and then, of course, on the other side, two buttons. The one on the top is the uh, photo button. As I'm wearing this, this is top left over here. And I know if I need to take a photo, I would push that. Uh, top right is video. And once this is turned on, um, it's so simple. And you can hear it just came on. Um, on the back side of the uh, camera, there's, <laughs> there, there I am. There is the display, okay? So you can see the display. Uh, if I want to video, I would hit on my right, up, upper right, I would simply hit that button. And I think you'll uh, see that uh, it's now in recording mode. What I'm looking at, if I were the person being uh, the object of my recording, they'll see a blinking uh, red, a blinking red LED, a little one. Now you can go into stealth mode and that won't show, but I recommend that that always be available. It's a good idea. Um, I like this. Uh, I like the product. I uh, found it very easy to use. 
the instruction set as somebody already indicated, I just shut it off. When you shut it off and uh, bring it up, boot it up, it uh, goes through that, um, that chime. <laughs> so um, it, it lets you know it's, uh, it's coming on or going off, which is a good idea. Uh, I set this, I went into the menu and I set this up for uh, the highest level of resolution for both video and photo. Um, my attitude with 64 gigs, uh, if you need to go into recording mode or take photos, there's no reason to go low res. I mean, if, if you're doing, you know, constant video recording, I would have another camera, uh, at least if it's a private system I would definitely and I do have other cameras in my vehicle but as a body camera I think this one's pretty nice some people have said it's bulky because it's a little larger and heavier um, I like the greater mass so that when this is on a vest uh, and uh, properly secured um, uh, I, I like that extra weight what little extra weight there might be I'm giving it five stars, both for uh, ease of use and um, the fact that uh, I looked at the videos and they look respectable for 1296. This particular instruction set was pretty darn good. So um, I was able to use this, but I didn't have to study it. And I found the um, getting into the menu on the camera was pretty easy and uh, I was able to uh, go through every uh, subsection within the menu and make my decisions uh, decisions as to what I wanted um, and of course uh, setting it up uh, with time and date uh, that was really easy everything was pretty easy with this that's why I'm giving it five stars as far as the missing epaulette uh, clip I may or may not deal with that. I don't know. But um, I, I guess maybe it took 12 months to get around to a body camera that I sort of like.